New at 10, some students at the University of Mississippi are concerned tonight after learning the owner of a popular Oxford bar is facing charges that include sexual battery. And now some of those students are trying to decide if they'll be going back to that bar. WRG's Ashley Paul has more on what happened and how students are reacting. Brewster's Blues House is known as one of the top party spots in Oxford. Very popular, extremely popular. It's one of the go-to bars. But the bar's future could be in question now that the owner has been arrested. It's the talk of the town, and students say the talk around campus. They're just saying what happened. They're just kind of confused. They're just shocked in a way. Shocked because 52-year-old John Scott Michael, known to most as Scott Michael, is charged with kidnapping and sexual battery. Oxford police were called to Courthouse Square on April 12th. A person reportedly needed assistance, and when officers got there, they were told Michael was being accused of sexually assaulting a young woman. They wouldn't tell us whether the victim was a student or known to Michael. They say they don't want to say much in order to protect the victim's identity. I was just kind of surprise because like I've seen him in the bar and he's usually like a friendly person. Now both students we spoke with worry about going back to the bar in the future. It's a little bit sketchy maybe going back in it makes me feel a little bit scared for my well-being but I mean we'll see how it has to go. And parents are glad their kids are being cautious. You worry about having a college age child anyway, their safety, um, et cetera, and then having something like this happen. Again, a local business owner in a small town who is supposed to be on you know, the lookout for these kids and making sure that they're safe. The security guard at Rooster's Blues House told us Michael was not there to comment. We made several attempts to reach him, but were unsuccessful. In Oxford, I'm Ashley Paul. WREG News Channel 3. At this point, it is not clear if Michael has posted his $50,000 bond.